Good morning, a nice spring, cold, wet, rainy morning here in southern Ontario. But you know what? We got an update, I think. Let's check out and see what the update is. Let me get acquainted and uh, settled and we'll uh, come back. Okay, it's May 1st and the update we got was 2019.12.1.1. Now, I believe this is the one that they started pushing out to the U.S. people of few weeks ago and then they stopped it for some reason they did a handful and there was probably some bug so they stopped it and now they've continued it with a dot one so probably just a minor revision a bug fix or something so as you can see now navigate on autopilot the beta uh, nothing I don't believe anything's changed this is we, we we've had it for a few months or if not weeks here in Canada um, supercharger improvements uh, your car is now able to charge to 100 and 50 kilowatts, which is great peak rates at the supercharging station uh, high-speed performance that I think is different in the peak power boost I think this is uh, something a little different for higher higher top speed, but you know I don't know how many people can do uh, long periods of um, Driving at higher speeds anyways, I guess maybe for highway speeds like I don't drive that fast anyways uh, software updates. This is something I've been looking forward to. So now you can actually um, view your details about the, off, the update before you actually get it. So that's pretty cool. And then it'll show you the, the download, the progress bar and everything will be displayed. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, Tesla Tari apps and games. Never really got into those, but um, there's some new games anyways. Looks like um, uh, 2048 is a new one can't see what that is down there it's in a different layout and now they have it all menu i menu menuized is that a word a menu off to the side i believe we'll take a look at that um this is cool this is something for uh long trips and road trips and stuff like that on route battery warm-up whenever you need to navigate i'm really liking this uh, whole copy thing i don't know what it's going to be for but maybe for the browser anyways yeah on route battery warm-up uh, language support if you speak different languages that's pretty cool and a new web browser they've gone over to chromium like we've uh, been told that they were going to so it's supposed to improve uh, the performance and the speed a lot more so we have to check that out and um, the TPMS as you can see we are on um, the new update 2019.12.1.1 in case you didn't believe me this is what I was talking about the um, Tesla Tari 2048 um, that's a new one Super Breakout, that's a new one, I think. Tempest, Gravity, oh, you know, there's some decent looking games here. Not gonna get into it, you guys can look at the games yourself, but just, just the new interface on, on how that works, and then the exit button is right up here. Moving over to the menu, here's the software button here, you can click on that, it tells you about your car, it tells you what um, map version you're on, navigation data, that's pretty cool. So, it'll tell you, like, if it changes, what's updated and that's the number right there and a I, i'm assuming that means north america 2019.6-10236 and then of course there you've got your vin number your kilometers and yeah i'm almost at 29,000 kilometers folks move it over to the uh, web browser let's find something here let's go to inside evs well, i mean i'm on wi-fi but it's still pretty fast. I mean, I find it pretty, pretty fast. I mean, I didn't have a problem when I was on Wi-Fi before, but it's doing pretty good. Let's see what else we can find here. A better route planner. I use that quite a bit for the routes. That's pretty fast. Uh, let's go see my friend Fred at Electric. He's not my friend. I don't know Fred. Seems pretty fast. I mean, the only way I'm going to be able to tell, and I believe everyone, there's other people say they've tested it and they've seen an increase in speed and performance and everything, which I believe. Uh, but like I said, a true test of it isn't here while I'm on Wi-Fi. True test is, you know, when I'm on LTE somewhere away from the home and I'm, I'm off Wi-Fi and see what the speeds are there. Okay, folks, just uh, went for a quick drive to see what the differences are, see if I feel anything different. Um, I'll first say when you're an autopilot, uh, it seems a, l 
a lot more locked and a lot more responsive in terms of uh, lane changes. It seems a little more sudden, a little more uh, precise in terms of when you put your signal on, if there's no cars beside you, it doesn't have that lag or that hesitation. It actually makes the lane change almost as quickly as a, as like a normal person, a human being w would do it. I've also noticed that if you're an autopilot and uh, there's a car in front of you and it's turning right or left, and it's, and it's a good distance up ahead of you that you that it actually makes the turn and it's out of your way before autopilot would slow down a lot and then it would take a long time to uh, get back up to whatever previous speed it was cruising at or locked in at. Now I find that it slows down and then it picks up and it uh, regains that speed a lot quicker, almost like like once again, almost like you and I would do as, as a human. Uh, I found before, as it was so laggy, I would have to give it a little bit of a push and, and press the accelerator just to get back up to speed to where I, I was before. Now this seems, just in the little half hour that I went out for a, a quick test drive, I found that it's a little better on that too. What I also was able to do, now that I'm not uh, uh, in my driveway on Wi-Fi, I'm on LTE as you can see up here, um, the browser, the browser is so, is considerably faster and like I said we knew that it would be here's weather network let's go to uh, now these are all sites I haven't gone to yet so it's not cached in memory or anything like that so let's see uh, okay I have gone to this one before but um, let's go to one that I haven't gone to oh, that, that truck looks beautiful by the way let's go to Tess Larati I haven't gone there before on this browser. Let's see how fast it goes. Wow. That's good speed. Like there's a lot of images and text that it has to like we know text comes in really quick and everything, but it images and it comes in nice. Nice and fast. Nice and responsive. I also found the backup camera. There's no lag in the backup camera now. Now, when I switched over, because in the 2019.8 uh, series of updates, that's where the backup camera had that problem. And I think it was 8.3. It was really, really bad. And went to when I upgraded a few weeks ago to 8.5, it was better. And then as the days went on and everything, I found that it went back to stalling and giving the black screen. So initially, as of day one, the backup camera is working on 12.1.1. Um, Pretty, pretty much instantly. I'll have to monitor it for a few days and see if it continues. The other thing in this update that we're supposed to have is notifications for sentry mode. It's, it's supposed to notify you uh, on your screen and in the app, in your uh, smartphone app, of how many times it's been triggered or set off. Uh, like I said, I've been out for half an hour. I stopped somewhere, I put sentry mode on. Um, I didn't get any triggers. I didn't get any notifications to my phone, so we'll have to test that a little bit later. Actually, let's test that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my phone. I'm gonna put it in airplane mode. I have my key card with me, so I'll put it in airplane mode. Get out of the car, lock it, um, and then I'll go up to the car and see if I can trigger sentry mode and see if any notifications come up on the screen here. I'll keep you in the car and keep you recording. Okay, I just realized that I have another camera, <laughs> which is my phone. So I'm here in um, uh, airplane mode, so nothing's gonna go off. You know what I think I have to do? I think I have to actually lock the car with the... Um, to lock it has it come up yet okay sentry mode now it says it's recording and I, I don't know if you can see that you can uh, see something on the screen I don't know if you can make that out there's a little red eye so it is on um, let me back away here might have to make this a separate video because I don't want to make this too long and see if anything goes off not detecting anything the headlights aren't going off I thought they would let's go up to the side here okay that has come on can't tell if the lights are flashed or not 
Now, obviously, because I'm in um, uh, airplane mode, I'm not going to get any kind of um, notifications on my phone, obviously. But I'm hoping they'll be up on the screen when I go back to the car. Okay, <laughs> that's the first time it worked. Now I've hit it harder before and it hasn't worked, so I think they've adjusted the sensitivity. <laughs> and that's uh, that was really loud inside there. <laughs> so now that should be considered a trigger. So let's go back in the car and see if anything <laughs> is different. Okay, I'm back. You guys must have went deaf there for a minute. I really didn't expect that to happen. Okay, oh, so it says right here, you can see. It says, uh, Sentry Mode Event Report. Two events occurred. So, let me come out of airplane mode on my phone and see if I get any notifications here. Yes, on my phone here, I'll take a screenshot and show you. Or I'll just hold my phone up here and show it to you. It says... Car alarm has been triggered. That's the car alarm. Now I knew that you would get that anyways before, but I'm curious to know if you get any notifications. Looking at the uh, phone app itself, it doesn't show any notifications of um, uh, other than the screen saying that it was triggered. It shows no notifications that um, there was two events occurred. Now, like I said, I had I was in uh, airplane mode. It probably wasn't the best way to test it. Um, if you want to see notifications on your phone, it probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but it shows up here on the screen as you can see. So that's 12.1.1. If you notice that I've missed any features in the update, folks, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what I've missed. I've tried to, this is Canadian. Now I know the US one will have um, uh, enhanced summon, which we're dying to get here in Canada. So um, hopefully we'll get it soon. But the international ones uh, updates, they may have some stuff that we don't too. So leave a comment below if you've noticed anything that, that I might've missed. So that's all I got for you today, folks. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, and uh, share the video if you like. Bye-bye.